Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda and today I have for you a plan with me for the week of February 4th through the 10th and this week I am using the Bell's Tail kit from Saucy Stickers Co. and I'm going to pull in quite a few stickers from other shops just leftovers I have and the washi tape I showed you is the Gryffindor washi tape from Creating and Co. So I bought this sticker kit in the glossy format and as you saw there were only two sheets. I just purchased the full boxes and the glitter headers um, because I knew I was going to be using this kit in my traveler's notebook and I knew I had a whole bunch of leftover quarter boxes, half boxes, scalloped labels, and the like that I wanted to use up with um, kits this year. And so I kind of just decided for a couple of the kits to only purchase the full boxes and the glitter headers um, when I could purchase a la carte. So with Saucy Stickers Co. you can. Um, like I said, this is glossy sticker paper. She does also offer a matte sticker paper, but with photo kits, I think they turn out a lot better with glossy sticker paper. So right now I just chose the five full boxes I wanted for the main part of the week or the, the work week and I'm putting those towards the bottom. This seems to be the orientation I like the best for my full boxes um, and then just having that top space to plan in and I'm only using the red, gold, and blue glitter headers on the front side. So then moving into the weekend, um, I'm using the silver glitter headers and some lighter boxes. Um, so we're going to pull in the teacup here and then the chandelier. And they both, um, the, the boxes on the front are a little... A little darker and these are a little lighter so I thought it was nice to have the silver uh, glitter headers for these so just pulling in those last two glitter headers and then I believe I moved back to the first part of the week and I think on to the oh no I think we're gonna lay down washi first yeah so um, just because I knew in this roll of the washi I was going to hit a part that was kind of like a cream off-white color, I decided to white out the bottom two lines and the middle lines for the boxes um, on that notes page section there. And then I'm just going to use my ruler and slice tool that I think I'm finally getting the hang of to um, cut the washi and make it look nice. I thought this washi was perfect to pull in for this kit. It really brought out the reds that were in the kit and then also brought in some more of that gold. All right, so now moving back to the front page, um, I'm using the quote box at the top there that says, a tale as old as time. And I am going to lay it down a little crooked this first try, so I will be lifting it up here in just a second. I've almost made it through my very first bottle of Undo. It's taken me, I think I started planning um, end of February, beginning of March, so it's taken me basically one whole year to go through undo and I think I've mentioned this a couple times but um because of how smooth this paper is it does um pull up sticker or the stickers if you pull them up even if they're removable mat I'm finding that it's still pulling up the paper so I've been having to use quite a bit more undo than I normally would but now I'm going to use uh the blue glitters and accents in the sidebar. Um, I put down that Monday through Sunday weekly ombre checkbox there and the last full box I had. Um, and that uh, ombre box, ombre checkbox is going to record or let me know which um, Paya workout I'm doing for each day. So now I am pulling in one of the squared quarter boxes from the kit um, that was at the bottom of the full boxes page. 
And this is going to mark my coworker and friend Dorada's birthday. And the balloons I pulled in were gold foil, and they are also from um, Saucy Stickers Co. And then this red and white striped box is actually from a, a Christmas kit that I used last year. It's from Sticky Essentials, and it's on a vinyl. And I thought the vinyl was nice where I could pull it in for... Um, to kind of go with the glossy stickers and then the fork and spoon gold foiled icon there is from sticky sloth designs that box is to mark uh, us going out to dinner with my friend mike and then moving on to wednesday i accidentally skipped tuesday so we'll go back but i'm using two leftover scallop labels i had from a creating and co kit and pulling in my music notes from sauce uh, sticky sloth designs and a paper clip from sticky sloth designs to mark my violin lesson and student mentor call and then i pulled in a piece of that washi and cut it into a bit of a flag there just for a little extra background, I thought it was nice to pull in a bit more of that red and gold and then just layered a clear um, champagne gold foiled, uh, what is that, garbage can to mark that Tuesday is our trash pickup day. And then on to Thursday, I'm using the kind of tannish yellow, um, what is that, quarter box to mark another birthday. This is my cousin Jeff's birthday it went down a little crooked so I'm gonna let that dry and then pull in a work label that is from that same um, Christmas kit I use from sticky uh, essentials just to mark that I'm working from home on Friday I might actually be working from home a couple more days this week because we're forecasted to get snow so we'll see but just mirroring what I did on Monday with that other birthday box um, and layering that uh, cold foiled balloon from sticky no saucy stickers go and then I pulled in a kind of yellow um, and gold foiled bow from Nikki plus three and did a little wiggle for you there so moving on to the weekend I'm pulling in another leftover scallop label this one has a bit of glitter around it from uh creating Enco for marking checking my oil and then i'm going to use that last quarter label there from the kit which is blue and this is going to mark my audible credit um the transparent uh gold foiled bow i pulled pulled in was from scribble prints co and this red and gold foiled bow is the same one, just different colored background from Nikki plus three. I do end up swapping them around, um, but I don't do that on camera. And then just whiting out the notes header there and placing a to do header. Um, it's kind of a grayish color. I don't know what kit or shop that would have been from but this heart checklist flag is from uh, creating inco and then to um fill in that white space a little bit more i am pulling in another piece of washi and when i cut it this one's gonna mostly be the red and kind of burgundy color which is a nice contrast from the side there um i don't think i pull it in on here I think I found it afterwards but I did have a freebie with a happy mail script from um, I want to say it was saucy stickers co so I did layer that over the washi and then just at the bottom of the next week box I pulled in a blue and gold foiled um, bow from Nikki plus three and then using that quote from creating in co that says the world belongs to those who read um i did white out the happy thoughts just because this was a little bigger size quote and then use two more uh silver glitter headers to 
kind of brighten up that white space box there. So now I am bringing in two yellow scallop labels from a Creating in Co kit and layering them over my, um, what is it, to do and work to do, I believe. Um, I always do this with either a piece of washi or <clears throat> extra boxes I have from kits um, to mark cleaning and school. Um, so this is a little munchkin from a Scribble Prints Co. freebie, but the munchkin is from Once More With Love. And then I brought in a yellow vacuum, which kind of <laughs> blends in with that scallop label from a Create, uh, some, oh my gosh, Scribble Prints Co. freebie. So now I am going to use my Pilot G2 gel pen in gold to fill everything in. I really like how these pens work on pretty much all sticker types. I've got matte stickers in here. I've got glossy stickers. I've got a vinyl sticker. And for the vinyl and glitter as long, or vinyl and glossy, as long as you let it dry, it doesn't smudge. Um, so you just kind of have to be patient with it. It's not an instant dry, but it does work. And I like how many colors there are which is nice but I, I tend to gravitate towards this gold and the rose gold one I have quite a bit so like I said just filling everything in I really enjoyed this kit I love the interpretation and take on it that it has for Beauty and the Beast which is one of my favorite movies um, but yeah I really hope you enjoyed this plan with me and seeing how I am using up extra stickers and just leftovers I have. Um, I felt bad about throwing them away and I knew that I would probably be able to match them into kits. Some weeks it's easier than others, but overall I think the colors I pulled in this week match very well and I've got quite a few more leftovers I'll be able to use. So I really hope you enjoyed this plan with me and I will chat with you down in the comments until my next one. Bye.